Hey there, Maxwell designers and creatives. Hope you're all doing well. This is Chetan here from Design Pilot, and I'm back again today with a Webflow tutorial. In this Webflow tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create a cool reverse hover effect. Um, it's super simple, so without any further ado, let's get started. All right, so here I'm in Webflow and the effect I'm gonna show you is similar to how Framer X does it. So here we have the nav bar and every time I hover on any of the nav elements, you can see that the other elements inside the nav bar um, actually, you know, get reduced in opacity and only the one that I'm hovering on, uh, you know, gets highlighted. So how do you achieve this effect where you trigger um, the, uh, you know, trigger the properties for other elements in, uh, you know, in the nav bar? So, uh, this is what I created. I just recreated the nav bar and you can see that as I hover over the other elements, you know, uh, you know, get de-emphasized. All right, so let's see how we how we can do this. So um, the first thing you need to know is that each of these elements have a um, class called as navlink. They have the same class, all right? So I'm gonna choose the first one, all right? And we're gonna go to the interactions and we're gonna choose element trigger and I'm gonna choose mouse hover. Right, so we have two on hover and hover out. Um, I'm gonna go and set the action to start an animation, and I've already created uh, both. I've already created two. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create uh, you know a new one so from scratch. So I'm gonna call this hover um, in tutorial just so that we know that this is the tutorial. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the um, opacity. That's the only thing that we want, and. Once we create the opacity, you want to effect a, a class, all right? Because we want this animation to effect all the elements that have the same class, all right? So I'm gonna select uh, class and then class will be navlink. And instead of choosing all elements, we're gonna choose all siblings, all right? So all siblings basically means if this is the if this is one of the sibling, then all the others are the rest of the sibling. So we are going to effect the rest of the siblings. That's what I'm saying. So I'm going to be effecting the class called navlink and for all the other siblings with the class, right? Anyway, so we're going to go and set this uh, to be 100% and I'm going to set this as initial state and I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this. So we have two. And for this one, I'm going to change the opacity of this down to say, um, uh, 50 percent all right so as you can see now that everything else is lower opacity all right that's perfect and we can go ahead and uh, you know make this ease uh, and you know set the duration to 0 0.3 or whatever we want that is completely left to you and go ahead and close this up so i'm going to go another one i'm going to choose hover out all right i'm going to open this and i'm going to choose start an animation and this time i'm going to duplicate the hover in tutorial so just select that and choose duplicate and this is going to be hover out tutorial. All right, so I'm just going to rename this hover out tutorial. All right, fantastic. Okay, and now I'm going to select the second one that we created. I'm going to delete that. And the first one, I'm going to remove set as initial state because we want this to reverse back to our initial one, which was 100%. And uh, I can go ahead and set this to be ease and the duration also to be 0 0.3 and we should be good to go. All right, so let's take a look and see if it works. All right, as you can see, it perfectly works, all right? But the problem is it doesn't work on any of the other ones, all right? It works only on this and that's because we told Webflow to trigger only this element, all right? So we wanna apply the same properties to all the others as well. So how do you do that? Very simple. So you can come down over here in the mouse hover interaction settings and instead of choosing, uh, you know, trigger only the element, we can choose trigger the class, which means any element that has this class called navlink, is going to trigger an animation, all right? So now if I hover over any of these, you can see that, you know, it properly works. And this is how you create a very simple reverse uh, hover effect in the flow. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more amazing, awesome content. And I'll see you guys in my next video. So till then, take care and bye-bye.